We'll leave Abuja and now we'll go straight to Benue State where traditional rulers, religious leaders and hard faith based organizations has vowed to increase sensitization campaign against human trafficking, child exploitation and other gender based violence in the communities. They make the vow how to hand off two day capacity training workshop on countering trafficking in persons organized by Network Against Child Trafficking, Abuse and Child Labor in collaboration with USAID held in Benin City the Dorset Capital. Correspondent Gabriel Odia files the report. Top President Abdika Niu says the training is a scale project aimed at reducing human trafficking in Nigerian communities through continual sensitization and the dangers of trafficking in persons since trafficking in Nigeria has become alarming. Just leaders from across nine states of Nigeria who are also undergoing these two days uh, intensive training. The essence of this is for us to build a critical mass of advocates across all sectors, both from the formal, non-formal, as well as community settings that will serve as advocates for the prevention and control of trafficking in persons in Nigeria. While over 30 traditional and religious leaders, including faith-based organizations, as well as members of the civil society organizations from nine states of the Federation, have resolved to intensify the fight against trafficking in persons across Nigerian communities, describing the menace as worrisome. They stated that all hands must be on deck to eradicate the menace, particularly the people in rural communities. The situation in Benue is quite pathetic. Thousands of uh, internally displaced uh, persons within the state, which of course the children, the youth and the elderly are most affected. And in situations like that, where people are jam-packed, not properly cared for, because the government cannot do all that to care for them properly. Because of that, they are disadvantaged. And there's a tendency of people taking advantage of that situation. As we return back to our destination, is to step down this uh, training that we learn here and to resensitize our traditional leaders also to put eyes on those uh, people that are trafficking our ch children. And the experience that we uh, learn here will be shared to our community mem members, more especially those religious leaders. Thank God for what uh, NACTA has come to do. Definitely the information we've got here today, added to the ones we have before, will go a very long way and the letting people of the need for all hands to be on deck to wipe away this scourge that has uh, actually given uh, those states while the all agree the poverty, insecurity and parental pressure is the leading cause of trafficking and child labor, they observe the need to create awareness and advocacy using a stakeholders' collaborative approach to stamp out the scourge. We have a structure through which we can communicate. What is going on in Lagos State, it is uh, because of its co cosmopolitan uh, nature. Uh, it is expected of... Uh, a, a city like that, but the government is up to the task. Anytime a particular information needs to be passed across to everybody, they go through the uh, CDA in the, in the local government. The way that uh, technology is abating, that is helping in uh, trafficking in persons. Before now, I didn't know that. And I think as I go back home, is something to really work on. Child trafficking and hard labor in Benue has become a reoccurring decima. We go to most of these villages in Benue State, there's no single village that you go to without the issue of tra child trafficking. It is more alarming now that the IDPs are everywhere. I'm going home well informed, I'm going home to sensitize my people, and I'm going home to disseminate this information to my colleagues for the dangers of this uh, deadly act. Meanwhile, the Benin Zona Coordinator of NAPTIP, Barista Unduka Unwanwane, said the agency seeks collaborative efforts of everyone to fight the scourge, as it cannot fight all alone. Good morning, all. Good Something that uh, not one organization can do alone requires intervention. Right from the communities, the religious leaders, the 
youths in the communities, teachers, and everybody must join hands to see that human trafficking is, if not completely eliminated, is brought to the barriers. The SCALE project is strengthening civic advocacy and local engagement, which has trained over 200 critical stakeholders, including security agencies and the media.